this to us several times during the program, where he did almost the impossible and found the right technical, technological co-founder during the program when he joined as a sole entrepreneur. In the past, Yoni helped managing his family's business. He raises two beautiful daughters together with his wife, and he lives in a city that I discovered has a representative from every field of the entrepreneurial ecosystem. I can tell you a secret, it's Hashmanay. Please welcome Yoni. Please raise your hand if you own at least three of these devices in your house. Thank you. Now please raise your hand if you know the warranty details of these devices or the warranty provider, how to contact them. When does the warranty expire? And what is the warranty cover? I'm Yolo Litsur from El Rigo, and we have the answer for these questions. We defined three main problems. First problem, customers don't know who the warranty providers are or how to contact them. Second problem, even if they know how to contact the warranty provider, the claim process is very complicated. The third problem is insurance companies that sell extended warranties through the retailers as an upsell are limited in reaching customers after the customer left the store. Our solution is a web app that helps customers to manage and purchase the warranties in one place. Immediately after the payment, the customer receives a link to his account and he can review all his products and warranties easily. He can extend the warranty to push of the button, file a claim, and request rebates for appliances to save energy, and even get technical support. The team that is building this solution is myself. I'm the CEO and co-founder. I'm experienced in business develop development and international sales. I work with companies such as Amazon, Amazon, Westrock, and Shufelsan. And my co-founder and CTO, Jonathan Altman, he's experienced in building systems from A to Z at Max Lumicar. He's a full-stack developer, a trainer, and consultant. The market that our team chose to focus on is the extended warranty for consumer electronics market. This global market is estimated, according to research, at $30 billion and expected to reach $50 billion by 2026. We're focused on the U.S. market, and that's estimated at $21 billion. Our business model is based on a 5% commission for any transaction of selling extended warranties through our platform. We project that by the end of 2020, we will have 150,000 transactions with an average fee of $7 and $1 million revenue. We divide our competitors to four. First are the uh, startup companies that are automating the warranty process. The second is insurance companies that sell extended warranties through the retailers, but they have also their own platform. Then there's uh, online websites that sell extended warranties and apps that try to organize all the warranties in one place manually. But, but as you see, El Rigo is the only solution that has everything you need in one place. Our competitive advantages, our solution is fully automatic. The system is free for the customer and for the store, and it's a web app, so you don't need to download anything, and you can reach it through any device. We're organizing all the warranties, from online purchases, offline purchases, and you can even upload products that you already own in your house. And we're increasing the income for stores and for insurance companies by allowing them to sell extended warranties through our platform. Our go-to-market strategy is connecting to stores that have one or two stores in an online store. We're going to integrate with the online store, move to the physical store, and then reach out to the bigger retailers. The retailers are going to offer our system to the customer. And once the customer has an Alvigo account, we can target them through online marketing. At phase two, we're going to collaborate with the insurance companies that are selling the extended warranties. And by that, to increase our profitability. According to our roadmap, we're now focused on finishing the development of the MVP, hopefully by the end of next month, and starting a pilot in the US. We're mainly looking for people that have strong connections with the retail market in the US. We hope to start raising money by the end of the year, extend our team, and grow quickly. Thank you for listening, and I hope next time you're buying any electronic device or appliances, you can be sure that Calrigo is taking care of all your warranty needs. But before I finish, 
We have a surprise for you this morning. For those of you that registered through our QR code or our table outside, look at your phones. You, you will receive now a link to our platform, and I'm happy to announce, you are now our first beta users. Thank you very much. So let me start. Um, very nice work, first of all. Um, can you talk a little bit more about your competitive edge from a technological perspective? Yeah, more answer. Um, okay, um, we're targeting an insurance company that most of the time don't have technology uh, spirit can call it and, and they basically don't have platforms of those and this is not our their product so they they don't uh, uh, build some uh, system like this platforms so if we come to them with a, a solution that works and so they can just jump it it's free leads so now compared to our competitors it's very important I think one of you spoke with me about it but each one of our competitors are touching one or two things, the, the uh, automatic claim or the automatic uh, registration of the products. But no one is, uh, as far as we saw, no one is uh, touching the whole solution. Also technical support, claim, rebates, automation. We're taking, we want people to have a set mind for everything around their uh, electronic devices. You don't care about it. You buy it and everything you need is there. Technical support, claim, rebate, everything is there. How to call, who to call. Everything is there. Okay, my question is regarding your total available market. So you uh, claim that there's a very large $30 billion total available market in the warranties. But you guys are focusing on extended warranties. Do you have data on conversion uh, figures? How many people actually do extend warranties because I understand that warranties are a huge market and they come with a lot of the appliances. But the question is, what is the actual market for extended yeah. warranties? So what we, the numbers we see here is for extended warranties. Extended warranties, not for just warranties. Okay, so this is the global one, and in the states, two thirds of the market is in the states. Okay. As far as we know, you know people, the Americans, they like a set mind, you know, everything is secure. So they're buying most of the extended warranties. And we're speaking now here just on like uh, consumer electronics. So there's extended warranty, you know, jewelry, furniture, and we're, and our vision will go into these markets, but this is the market we're focusing first. We need to be focused, and this is the biggest chunk of the market, so we're focusing on that. Okay. Very good. One last question. When you are offering the extension of the warranty, who is underwriting the yes. extension? So we already were in contact with uh, one of the biggest uh, companies named Entrust. Entrust Warranty, okay? And this is in the retail we, we spoke with BH. So Entrust, they, we spoke with them. They have the solution. They tried to solve it with an app. They have a problem. It didn't work. And they said, when you're ready with your solution, it's interesting. Bring a store and we'll start a pilot. So we're already uh, talking with a few insurance companies. Thank you. Morning, uh, very well. Thank you. Uh, my question is, you are mentioning you are planning to have in one or two years 150,000 transactions and about $1 million of revenue. What do you have in mind in terms of the number of downloads, application downloads users you should have to get these numbers? Yeah, so uh, yeah. and, and specifically, what do you think is the cap, the, the customer acquisition for each of these downloads? And having an active uh, user that will... Right. So, um, as I mentioned, it's a web app. So, uh, we're using, uh, maybe Anton later on can explain more about that, but using, we're using the highest technology, so it's a web app, but you can actually download it into your desktop or your mobile. So it's giving you the both of the features that you can. So it's traffic. Yeah. Uh, but, so it's not a download, it's traffic. Yeah, so um, look, we we calculated this 
these numbers according to the stores we think we're going to be in in the, the end of the year. So we thought about 30 stores. So we can do the, the uh, you know the calculation. How many, it's not so much use. It's about um, uh, how much is it? Like 3,000, 4,000 users per uh, per store uh, during the year that extend the warranty. So it's not you know not such a big uh, number. We didn't want to jump too high. And we think this is really we can get it. Just two quick questions. The first of all, uh, the first one is about the APIs and the integration. You are aiming for a one-stop shop, and you need you have a lot of dependencies. So I would like to hear how you build it, how you, you thought of it. And the second one is for the business. Uh, and just have in mind the upsell, not just of the warranty extension, but also through disengagement upsell for the same provider retailer. About the API, um, as we mentioned, it's it's, um, it's a win-win situation. If the store gives us the data, we can sell through them and they get a fee. So API is supposed to be really quickly and it's just integration. Two months, every store, one time. Yeah, so for, the, for the first few months, we're not going to do something in a one-stop solution that people just come and connect to us. You know, we need to start through pilots first. Um, and we'll connect to the CRM systems. Through the CRM system, we're going to get all the data. Um, regarding your question, uh, so upsell, yeah. So we're going also because we, we're going to analyze a lot, a lot of that data. Because we know people also upload their products from their houses or products they bought. We can help with upsells also with accessories and stuff like this. If someone brought a fridge, we can sell them an ice cube machine for the fridge. So we can help also with that, like coupons and offers of uh, more upsells for the product. If I understand correctly, you are going to get paid by the insurance companies, yeah. right? Uh, do you know uh, what is the ratio of uh, marketing expense per sales for insurance, co insurance companies? How much of their sales do they spend on marketing? Yeah, so we didn't get into these details, but um, I know they're trying to sell these, these problems. They have just something like 5% conversation in the stores. That's 5% are buying the same warranties and they know they need to extend that. So they're trying to find solutions. M-Trust, and that's what we got from M-Trust. M-Trust uh, uh, spent a lot of money to uh, develop an app, a special app with IoT or whatever. It failed. They didn't do, uh, succeed with this app. And when they saw our offer and our solution, they said it sounds very interesting and it sounds like it's something that, that they, they want to integrate. But uh, expensive, it's expensive. It's, it's not costing anything. <laughs> If we bring in their sales... For them it's a marketing expense. They do this because they want to increase their sales. Right. So, so you have to figure out, you know, right. so that, that's what's their expense in, you know, for your right. application. Because the other alternative is, you know, putting ads on TV, right? Right, correct. Yeah, so that's for the business model, correct? So also for the claim process, part of the business model is uh, sending the money on the claim process because they're taking a third party company to do the claim process. So if we can save them by automating the claim process, we're going to save them a lot of money. Thank you. Any, any other questions? Yes, oh. just uh, another quick one. So just to make sure, uh, is it going to be a marketplace for insurance or are you going to work only with one strategic company, yes. as mentioned? So in the beginning, we did work with one or two companies. Um, actually, before the one or two companies, as I said in the, in the Google Market Strategy, First of all, we're integrating with the stores. The stores are already working with these companies. And they're working with a few. So we can just go through the channel of the store. And the second phase, we're going to call it directly to, to the insurance companies to uh, increase our profitability. If we're working directly, not through the stores. So in the beginning, we're probably going to work with one or two. You know, the sales, the sales cycle with the insurance companies are pretty long. So we start with one or two. And after we see we have enough traction, we have the tower to be a marketplace and come to insurance companies and say, come sell through us. So this is our vision. We want to give the customer the best price of its own market. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.